Welcome! The following training is Part 1 of a two-part training series demonstrating how to use the Smart Tech Dealer Portal to remotely manage and connect a 2GIG Rely security system to the SecureNet platform. To connect a customer's 2GIG Rely security system to SecureNet, a new account must be set up. This can be done through SecureNet's Smart Tech Dealer Portal. You can also use the Smart Tech Dealer Portal to remotely manage, update, and configure the Rely panel, as well as add sensors, zones, and other peripheral devices. The first portion of this training will demonstrate how to create a new customer account. Note: Although the 2GIG Rely system is specifically referred to in this training, the task demonstrated here can also be used to connect a 2GIG GC2 security system to SecureNet as well. Let's get started. You can access the Smart Tech Dealer Portal by navigating to the following web page. Input your login credentials that were provided to you when you opened a dealer account with SecureNet. The home page and dashboard will display by default. There are four key steps that should be completed when setting up a new customer account in SmartTech. These four steps should be completed before you power up the Rely panel. Step 1. Create an account and enter the desired panel or account ID for the required receiver. Step 2. Select the appropriate service plan. Step 3. Register the panel by adding a gateway. Step 4. Add a master end user to the newly created account. Let's look at each of these steps in more detail. Step 1. Create an account and enter the desired panel or account ID for the required receiver. To get started, locate the menu bar on the left side of the screen and click the Accounts tab. Click the Search Accounts option from the drop-down menu. Select Add Account in the upper right area. An Add Account pop-up menu will display. Locate the Panel ID section. Choose whether to auto-assign or manually enter the four-digit panel or account ID. You can auto-assign the panel ID to use the next available account in your dedicated account range, or you can manually enter the panel ID. If the account will be professionally monitored, it's important to ensure that you enter the proper panel or account ID that corresponds with the account created in automation with your monitoring center. Note, if the account will be professionally monitored, we recommend manually entering the panel ID to ensure the account matches what was created in automation. This is important to ensure communication between SecureNet and the monitoring center. Self or non-monitored accounts can use the auto-assign tool to automatically select the next available account ID. Use the drop-down menu to select the appropriate receiver as applicable. Next, choose the panel type. Click inside the field and select Rely from the drop-down menu. Complete all other fields as needed. Anything marked with an asterisk is required. You will need to name the account and add the site phone number. If desired, add the name for the contact person, description, panel location, and partner ID slash contract number. Make sure to add the correct time zone for the panel, as well as the country, address, and account type. Step 2. Select the service plan. Selecting the correct service package will ensure the signal makes it to the monitoring station and the customer has the desired features and functionalities available. Select the service plan based on the following. The method used for the signal to communicate from the premise to the central monitoring station this is also based on the radio type, such as GSM, CDMA, or IP. The desired level of end-user account functionality and control. For details regarding service plan options, see the Smart Tech Dealer Portal User Guide.
Select Next when finished adding the account details. A pop-up box will display. Select Finish to save the new account details. You will then see a success message displayed in the upper right area of the screen. You have now added the new account with the correct service plan. The new account summary page will automatically display on your screen after it's created. Choose whether or not to make the account live today. This feature provides the option to create the account days or weeks before installation. The account can be switched to a live status once you are ready for installation. Select Go Live if you are ready to put the panel online and have its signals transmitted to the monitoring station and remote services activated. As soon as Go Live is selected, the billing period begins. Troubleshooting Tip SecureNet will not transmit signals to the monitoring station until the account is switched to a live status. If the signals are not going to the monitoring station, verify the account status has been set to live. Step 3. Register the panel by adding a gateway. Navigate to the left menu bar. You will see the System option under the Accounts tab. Select System to bring up the Systems page. Click Add Gateway, and a pop-up box will display on screen. The Account Number field will automatically populate. Select the Panel Type field. In this case, we will select Rely. You will notice that the Serial Number field changed and is now labeled IMEI slash MEID. Complete this field. The number will be located on the QR box code sticker. Note, only enter the last 12 digits of the IMEI or MEID number. Click Done. You will see a success message. The Rely panel is now registered with SecureNet and it is set to communicate with the monitoring station or whatever else has been designated as applicable. Step 4. Add a master end user to the newly created Rely account. In this step, you will be creating the initial master user of the account by setting them up with an alarm user code and logins to access the end user mobile app and end user web portal. This master user will also be able to fully manage new and existing alarm and interactive users from the end user app or web portal. This includes the ability to add new users, edit existing users with permissions to change alarm user codes, reset usernames or passwords, and update user settings, or remove users. They can also make changes to the camera settings and recording options if a video service plan has been selected for their account. The master user also has the ability to arm or disarm the panel remotely, in addition to other functionalities. There can be one or multiple master users. To add the initial master user, navigate to the left menu bar. You will see the Users option under the Accounts tab. Click Users, and the Account Users page will display. Select Add User. The Create User pop-up box will display. Add the master user's name and relationship if desired. The start date will automatically set for today's date. Check the Master box to enable master user permissions. Leave the locked box blank as this will lock the user out from remote services, including the end user app and the end user web portal. Add the contact information for the user. A phone number is required. However, it is recommended that you add two forms of contact information. For example, you can add a phone number as well as an email address. That way, if the user forgets his or her password, he or she can use the Forgot Password link. For the phone number, it's best to add the user's cell phone number as it will allow the user to set up notifications to his or her phone with the click of a button. 
be sure to select cell or non-cell for the phone type. Next, add the desired web details which consist of a username and password. The end user will use these credentials to access both the end user mobile app and end user portal. The username can contain numbers, letters, or special characters, while the password can only include numbers or letters. This is case sensitive. Once you enter the username, click the Check Availability button. A message will display below this button, letting you know if your username is available. Add the end user's password. The password is case sensitive and must be in alpha or numeric characters only. Confirm the password. Next, complete the alarm user fields. Click on the user ID box to display the drop-down menu. For the initial user, select Master from the list, as you will be setting the initial user as the master alarm user. This user ID will be connected to the code the user enters to arm or disarm their panel. Add the panel access code, also known as the alarm user code. This is the code they will use to arm and disarm the panel. This code can always be changed after installation as desired. The default master code is 1111. After you complete all fields, select Done. The Account Users page will automatically display. You will see the new end user displayed on the list below. Note, if the panel has not been set to a live status yet or is powered down, a warning message will display. This is normal. Once the panel is live and online, this message will disappear. The master end user has now been added to the Rely account, completing the last of the four key steps. The Rely panel can now be powered up. If you need to go back and add any additional users, repeat the process outlined in Key Step 4. Click Add User and complete all required fields and optional fields as desired. If you want to make this user a master enabled user, click the master box. If you are adding a user who is not a master user, leave this box blank. That user will still be able to view user settings on the portal and app and arm disarm remotely. However, they will not be able to make any edits to user information or add users. If you do not want the user to have access to the mobile app or portal, select the locked box. This user will have no remote abilities and will only be able to arm or disarm on the panel itself. Select Done once all information is added. If you are adding a user that can only arm or disarm on the panel itself, you also have the option to add them by clicking the Panel Codes option on the left menu bar. Click Add and a pop-up menu will display. Add the user ID. Add the panel code, username, and then select Save. The new user will display on screen. This page can be used to edit or delete users as well. You have now set up the new account and added additional users as well. The SecureNet Smart Tech Dealer Portal can also be used to configure the Rely panel, add sensors, zones, and other peripheral devices. These tasks will be discussed in part two of this training series. Thank you for watching. You may now exit the course.